Hi everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. I did not get a chance to post videos on Friday because I ended up going into LA and sleeping over and it was a lot of fun, but also, you know, like, had, you know, there were certain responsibilities and such. So hopefully for those of you who have gotten into the thankful habit, certainly for me, um, I, I thank you guys for coming and tuning in every weekend. But for those of you who got used to seeing a video from me at some point on Fridays and were wondering what's going on with Grace, I do apologize. I just got caught up with a few things. And so, yeah. Anyway, I am planning this weekend on filming a number of videos because some lovely um, purchases that I made to celebrate certain things have arrived and I wanted to share them with you as well as announce the beginning of the Easter card challenge that I have or that I try to have every year if I can swing it. So this year I can swing it. The youth kids wanted to do it. So anyway, that's not the topic of this video. Um, let me share with you what this is. You guys know that from time to time I do like to shop on Etsy and there are three vendors that I really like to shop with. This is one of them, Looking for Simplicity. It's run by an awesome woman named M. And, you know, she writes these personalized notes on the invoice, which I certainly appreciate. So, Em, if you're watching, I so appreciate those notes as well as the extra goodies you sent. This, for those of you who are looking, yeah, totally unexpected. How cute is this? Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Anyway, <laughs> before I get caught up, this is the store. You see the website as well as the Etsy shop or email. I'm going to link down the description bar, the actual um, address to the Etsy shop. And then this is all of her information. Now, this is the directions on how to take care of these tote bags. And you all know I do love my tote bags. And it's a brand new start. And I do need one or two more tote bags and M over the winter um, break when the shop was down had created some wonderful new illustrations that I, if you guys are new or even if you've been with me for a while, you may not know, but one of my favorite literary characters is Sherlock Holmes. But actually, let me first share this, put this away, and then share with you the tote bag. So this was totally unexpected, this cute little drawstring bag, and I love the the canvas a material but she created a little Bentley drawstring bag how adorable is this so as Bentley goes visiting from place to place I can use this for his little you know just snacks or whatever and so thank you oh my goodness my family is going to die when they see this they're gonna think it's so cute and then she also included some treats so I look forward to seeing if Bentley likes those treats I don't know my dog is such a finicky eater for certain things I don't know if your dogs are like that but he'll only eat certain treats but I'm like able to smell the treat through this bag and it's actually quite yummy smelling so I'll definitely have to give Bentley um, that and see how he likes it and then as a freebie to me she sent me two magnets so the person be it gentleman or lady who has not the pleasure in a good novel must be intolerably stupid and this is from Jane Austen you guys know I am a Jane Austen fan I love this quote other than the fact that the word stupid I'm like mm, but Again, it's that sharp, snarky um, Jane Austen wit. So, very cute. I am going to have so much fun using this on my um, black metal cabinet in my um, school office because I, I don't know, I could have sworn I had all these magnets. And I find that I'm still ne in need of magnets. So, these will make um, really great additions. And I know that some of my Jane Austen fan colleagues are gonna just be envious look how cute this is can you all see this it's the year of all the publications cute huh anyway thank you so much em and then she also included this coaster how cool is that so i think i'm gonna leave this in my home office just so that i can use it um and not you know use it in my office <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I have to wonder if I should take things to my office that I really, really like. But anyway, 
All right. So thank you so much for those goodies. Totally unexpected. So, you know, unexpected surprises just make it that much more um, lovely. But all right. So I ended up buying some tote bags. And some of you may know, but with my um, back, um, the issues that I have with my back, I'm actually trying to divvy up the coursework that I have to carry to each class. And so this tote bag will be for one class, and then this tote bag will be for another class. That way, it is as minimal strain on my back as I possibly can. And so anyway, the last time, if some of you were watching the um, last haul I did with her shop, may have remembered that I ended up getting a lot of Jane Austen totes, which I loved, and I have given away a few of those already. Um, they make such great gifts. Um, you put stuff in there and then this serves as a gift bag and then they get to use this awesome um, tote bag. So anyway, um, I am planning on giving one of these to my younger sister because she and I, many, many years ago, we saved and saved when we were still students in grad school and she was in med school and I was in grad school and we saved enough money to go to England. And we only stayed in London, but the one thing that my sister really wanted to you know, make sure I got a chance to see was 221B Baker Street. So there's a Sherlock Holmes museum there. And ever since then, I mean, we brought back a few souvenirs and such. So she knows I love Sherlock Holmes. And um, it's something that certainly um, I am slowly getting her to like. <laughs> it seems as though all the literary um, characters that I like, I slowly get her to like. Recently, she was saying that... Um, Snoopy. She's like, I don't know why the whole family thinks you're the only one who likes Snoopy. I like Snoopy too. <laughs> anyway, so I have given her some of my Snoopy stuff. But this is, um, incidentally, I don't think, I'm trying to think if Holmes ever says this specifically, but this is a very famous quote. So here is the classic um, profile of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The game is afoot. I love that. So um, got this one. And M was talking briefly about Basil Rathbone. I love the old one, um, the old shows with um, Basil, Rath Basil Rathbone and Nigel Bruce. And growing up, this is so silly, you guys will laugh, but I had the biggest crush on Basil Rathbone, who, it wasn't Basil Rathbone, actually, it was Sherlock Holmes being portrayed by Basil Rathbone, but I had the biggest crush on Sherlock Holmes growing up and just a fascinating fictional character. So the two characters that I love would be Sherlock Holmes and Snoopy, as many of you are coming to realize. This one I thought was really nice. And the great thing about the shop is you get to um, decide on your color. So um, this is one of the classic illustrations, I think, from the Strand magazine when these were originally published. And I love the scroll work here. And um, she's got this quote, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. So great little quote. And then this one is to a great mind, nothing is little. And so I picked kind of a dark blue print for this. So and then while I was shopping, she had this little Mary Poppins, I think, you know, inspired by the recent, you know, movie Return of Mary Poppins. So um, this is how it comes with the nice coloring and stuff. Let's go fly a kite. I thought this was so cute. Uh, growing up, I did read the Mary Poppins series. Um, I, I used to get, and I'm, I'm still kind of like this too, but once I get hooked onto an author, I'll spend a good month or two just reading as much of that author's work as I can. So I think I went through the entire body of work from Sherlock Holmes, um, you know, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in about two months time. Um, what is it? His 56 short stories and then the four novellas. And then I kind of stopped once I finished that volume. I don't like reading a lot of the, um, I guess we call them fanfics, but, um, Sherlock Holmes stories that other authors have written, inspired by, you know, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So anyway, I did that with uh, Mary Poppins, too. Read through quite a number of the Mary Poppins books. Um, and then did that also with the next one. Ta-da! Lewis Carroll's um, Alice in Wonderland thing. And so you guys know I love my bunny. 
or my bunnies. And of course, the little white rabbit is one of those bunnies that I love. So Alice Dreams, a wonderful, oh, a wonderland of curiosities. So Alice Dreams and a wonderland and such. So I thought it was cute. This had been on there last year too, but I kind of told myself don't get it. And then recently when I made this purchase, I ended up getting it. So um, let me explain to you why I ended up going because, as you know, for the longest time, I had stopped shopping um, while I was healing. And I, when I ended up getting some really great news from one of my doctors, I thought, you know what, this great news deserves a little bit of a celebration. And so I got online to Etsy, um, bought this, certainly, from M, and then I made a purchase from Perianne's Arts and Things too, which I will be posting up later today as well. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. I will leave down the description bar again her um, Etsy shop, and these are really great because you pay, for, um, you order these, and I think these are all eligible for free shipping, and so. It's really nice to be able to get good quality literary totes. She also has a lot of pop culture totes. I think, what is it, Walking Dead? You guys know I'm not into Walking Dead, but she has that. I think some Star Wars, some Disney stuff, and a whole slew of things like Doctor Who. And I will let you guys have fun roaming and browsing through. But just kind of wanted to share with you these goodies that I, you know, ordered plus you know, the lovely goodies that she sent me. I hope you guys get a chance to check her out. If you do, just tell her Gracie21 sent you just so that she knows she got some traffic from YouTube as well. So um, anyway, thank you so much, Em, if you are watching this. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I, you know, every week I appreciate the fact that you guys take the time. We all have a set number of hours, and you guys choose to spend some of those hours you know, watching my videos, and some of you even take the extra step to leave me comments, which I always appreciate. So thank you so much. Stay tuned this weekend, because aside from this, I will be back with at least two more videos. So thank you, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. God bless.